Hi, Christine here. Um, sorry about the lighting, and I'm having to hold the phone at the same time. But I thought I'd kind of go into a little tidbit type thing. I want to kind of... I had started with the tidbit of the day thing and then just kind of dropped it and forgot about it. So what I want to come up with is just little informational things that are out there. Last one was Harry Houdini. This time I want to talk about lethal white syndrome. And um, there's a lot of us, you know, there are several people that have, you know, are into horses and stuff like that and look at them as a very spiritual animal and, uh, but have no actual experience with horses. And I was in the quarter horse section of you know, Western riding and all of that, I'd never really dealt with paints. And um, what a paint is, is more a stock horse type uh, animal that has the patches of either black and, or cream or brown with the white, the big patches, not the spots like the Appaloosa. Um, and a pinto is one that's more, you know, done off of the dressage horses like the Arabians, the saddlebreds, uh, things like that. So um, what there is in both is something that I just had discovered today. I did not realize um, it's called lethal white syndrome. And um, somebody had shared a Facebook post of this full, very pretty, but he was all white except for this brown patch just down his neck and a little bit over the withers and onto the shoulder. And that was it. And he actually cl is classified as a lethal white. And what it is, is it's called ovarian lethal white syndrome, or um, I mispronounce it owls, but it, you know, O-L-W-S. Um, and it is a genetic disorder. And um, what... I think some of it stems from is all the breeding for color and to try and get the height of color. Um, and it's mostly in the American paint horse. Um, and what happens is these foals are born absolutely white and um, they, uh, they go through the full 11 month gestation and seem normal and they have blue eyes but they have a non-functioning colon and um, within a few hours they'll often start to colic where the gut twists up and it's exce exceedingly painful and a long painful death um, and they'll die within a few days um, most of the time once they identify that it's a lethal white they'll just euthanize them um, this is different than albino and this is different than the cremello colors so um, if you want to look it up, I'm going to provide a couple links below um, for anyone who's interested in horses, um, especially the spotted horse breeds. Um, I thought this one was really interesting. Um, I'd been out of horses for quite a long time, unfortunately. Um, I last showed in the uh, a late 80s, early 90s, so um, it's been quite a while. And this is something I just didn't know about another breed. So um, it never hurts to look things up and keep studying. So there's the tidbit of the day. Um, enjoy. Blessed be.